In today's video, we are diving into the incredible synergy between two AI agents working together to create great content. One agent acts as a writer, while the other one takes on the role as the editor, constantly critiquing and improving the text. Trust me, you've never seen writing made this easy. The first step you want to do is head over to ChatGPT and pick your model. I highly recommend GPT-4 if you have access, if not, you can try with 3.5. I'm gonna select GPT-4 and I'm gonna go. Let's talk about Python. Here are the OpenAI documentation. Head over to platform.openai and go to the API reference and find chat. Copy all of the text you see here around chat. Be sure to catch these Python examples. Just copy that. Head back to ChatGPT and paste it in here and click submit. The next step is going to be great now write a conversation loop in Python with two chatbots that autonomously talk to each other with the GPT 3.5 model that can read text files so the chatbot knows their system roles. Okay, so click submit. Okay, great. Now we have the Python code here. So just copy that and paste it in your preferred engine and just test it. Okay, so let's take a quick look and see if this is running. Okay, so this seems fine. It looks like the simulation is running. It's a bit strange. You could do some more work here if you want to. But okay, let's stop that and head over to our tasks. For this system, we need actually two different roles. So we need one editor and we need one writer. So let's take a look at the system role for the editor here. Of course, I'm not going to read all of this. This is very concise, but basically we are giving this role as an expert editor skilled in the art of crafting and refining the written word that is that and the task is as an expert editor to collaborate with writers to create polished impactful writing okay so we have some tasks uh, the assignment is be very critical of miss writer and her writing to help her write the best piece of the text you will always converse in this structure. So you will give a response and a critique, right? So that is the editor and we have Miss Writer that is going to be our author. So you are an expert writer author who possesses a wide range of skills and qualities that set you apart from the average writer. Okay, that's good. Your task as a writer author is to create compelling and engaging written content that captivates your readers and keep them coming back for more. Okay, so that's nice. Your task is to always iterate on Mr. Editor's critique and complete the assignments. The first assignment we have is write a 500 word short story about a lost soul in a rich emotional language. We give some story context. Julie wakes up in a dark alley in Manhattan, New York, and you will always converse in this structure. You will respond to Mr. Editor and you will write your story. So that is basically the setup. Now let's run it and see what kind of results we can get. Let us just sit back and watch the writer editor synergy. Okay, so that was complete. Before we listen to a part of the story, let's take a look at the writer-editor relationship here. So this works very good. So you can see it just starts with, uh, please feel free to share your work when you're ready. So Miss Writer goes ahead and writes her first draft of the story here, right? Uh, and then the editor comes back, thank you for sharing the story. And I got some critique, right? The overall narrative is engaging, but there's a few areas where you can improve your story. So sentence structure, overuse of adjectives and verbs. So show, don't tell. I'm a big fan of that. So take a look. Instead of telling readers about Julie's emotions, try showing them through her actions and dialogue. And it even gives an example here. Instead of this sentence here, you kind of want to replace it with, she shook her head in despair. Even if she escaped this maze of shadows and sorrow, she will remain lost in the world that no longer felt like her own. So it comes up with direct examples that the story can be improved with. By addressing these points and making research, your story will become even more captivating and impactful. Miss Writer goes ahead and implements those changes to her story. So we get a second draft, right? And thank you for sharing the revised version. Uh, these changes you made have improved the readability and emotional impact of your story. And it got some few minor suggestions for further improvement, uh, varying length sentence and structure, keeping an eye on repetition and avoid redundancy. Comes up with some examples and it goes ahead and writes her final version of the story here. And then everyone is happy. I think this 
synergy here is very impactful and I can really tell that it is improving the story. Let's just listen to a part of it and hear what uh, you think. Raindrops danced on the pavement around Julie, their rhythm a haunting melody that heightened the eerie atmosphere of her surroundings. She pushed herself to her feet, ignoring the sharp pain that shot through her body. Every part of her felt bruised and broken, but she couldn't remember how or why she ended up here. Trepidation pierced her chest as she stumbled forward, seeking solace from the engulfing darkness. The distant hum of traffic seemed like a lifeline, and she clung to it desperately as she navigated Manhattan's labyrinthine alleys. Memories flitted through Julie's mind like ghostly apparitions, taunting her with glimpses of a life that felt both familiar and foreign. A loving family, friends who brought joy and laughter, these images seemed like cruel illusions designed to torment her lost soul. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, right? I think this really shows off how this writer-editor synergy really puts this story on a higher level. Because we, we always get feedback and we got this editor improving where the language might be a little generic, right? At least that's what I think. But let's take this further and now try to write a product review. So now I want to write a product review of someone who has been testing the iRobot Rumba 694 vacuum cleaner. So basically what I did here is I just copied some of the description here of the item, right? To give context to the, to the story or review. And then I go ahead and give the assignment, write a 500 word product review of the iRobot Romba 694 in a first person view. Share your thoughts and emotion about the product. And then I just go product context and I paste in all of this. And everything is basically the same, the editor has the same system role. So let us just run this and see what we end up with. That was the product review complete. Let's take a look at the synergy between the editor and the writer. The editor wants the work, of course, so the Miss Writer goes ahead and writes her product review first draft. And the get the critique is overall your writing is clear and easy to understand. But there are a few areas where revisions can help improve its impact. In the first paragraph, consider rephrasing. I'll share my thoughts and emotions about the product too. I'll share my experiences and impressions of the product. This will give a more objective tone to review. Okay, that's interesting. And the review has a strong focus on describing features of the Roomba 694, which is important. However, it could benefit from more personal anecdotes and examples of how these features have specifically impacted your daily life. Sounds smart. So in the conclusion, try to avoid repeating points. Consider summarizing your overall experience instead. Okay, interesting. So Miss Writer goes ahead and improves the story in the second draft. Uh, the revised version is uh, better, all well rounded and compelling piece. Just a couple of Myron points to refine it further. Uh, so in the conclusions, you have done a great job. You might want to consider adding a brief statement of why this particular vacuum cleaner stands out. In, in comparison to the others on the market. Okay, goes ahead, writes the final draft and both the editor and the writer is happy. So let's take a quick listen to the final draft of the product review. I remember the first time I used the Roomba 694. I had spilled some cereal on the kitchen floor and it detected the mess and cleaned it up without any intervention from me. The three-stage cleaning system lifts dirt, dust, and debris from both carpets and hard floors with ease, while the edge-sweeping brush takes care of corners and edges that would have been difficult for me to reach manually. The auto-adjust cleaning head is a game-changer, as it automatically adapts its height to effectively clean varying surfaces. The Roomba's advanced sensors have been a lifesaver for me, especially when trying to clean under my couch. Okay, so that was not bad. Kinda convinced me, right? It seems very, when you do it in first person, it seems very personal that she has actually tried the product. So it's pretty impressive how much it can just get out from the product description. And with the editor writer synergy, it even improves it more. So yeah, this turned out great. Uh, finally, I wanna do this with uh, kind of a blog post informational style piece. If you want to save time and use exactly the same prompts as I've been using in this video, check out the link in the description below to my website where you can sign up for my newsletter and get a PDF with all the prompts I've been using in this video. Let's get back to it. 
The next assignment I want to give to Miss Writer is write a 500 word blog post about AutoGPT. I want this to be in first person view, so share your thoughts and emotions about this AI system. I want to give AutoGPT some context here because it really doesn't know anything about that. So I went to a few websites, I just found some information, I picked some article stuff here, just picked it and pasted it in behind here in context. And let's see what uh, the writer and the editor can get out of this. So again, the writer-editor synergy works perfectly well here. So it's not the best blog post. Uh, I kind of should have given it some more context when I read this. But uh, again, the editor does his thing. It comes up with critiques all over the place. But I found a flaw here. Because in the second paragraph, you mentioned both GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. As far as I know, GPT-4 hasn't been released yet by OpenAI. Please double check this information and revise accordingly. So I thought that was just funny because here it is the editor that is wrong, of course, because it doesn't have browsing capabilities. But just imagine this with the uh, option to go on the web and fact check stuff, right? You can make like a fact check bot, right? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And it gave the second draft, it had some more critiques. Uh, just some sentences and stuff, but it, it turned out pretty good. And here is the final draft. Let's have a quick listen to a few lines of this before we call it a day. To use AutoGPT, you need to install it in a development environment like Docker and obtain an API key from OpenAI, which requires a paid account. While this may be a hurdle for some users, I found the investment worthwhile considering the potential benefits. Once up and running, I decided to test AutoGPT with some mundane tasks like debugging code and writing emails. To my delight, the AI performed admirably. Emboldened by its success, I moved on to more advanced tasks like creating a business plan for a hypothetical startup. Again, AutoGPT impressed me with its autonomous problem-solving capabilities. Yeah, I think that sounds great. It was accurate. It was... Kind of everything that AutoGP tries to be. So it did give a really good impression if you just read this, you didn't know what it was. You get some idea of what this was, but I think I could have proved it a lot if I gave it more context, if I refined the context and I spent more time on it. So I'm definitely going to test that. Uh, but overall, very happy.